Okay, this tutorial video is on how to partition or format your hard drive on your Amiga. Now, there's a few things to go through before I start. So the first thing is I'm using Workbench 3.1. Now, the same method should work for previous versions of uh, Workbench. So just follow the instructions and you should be okay. Um, it's a pretty simple and easy way of um, setting up your system, setting up uh, Workbench and um, just like I said follow the instructions and you'll be fine now the other thing is and this is really important um, if you've got other stuff attached to your Amiga for example the accelerator card uh, CD-ROM drive and a four-way ID buffer probably can't see that very well um, make sure you've got all of this stuff attached to your Amiga before you partition the drive now that's really important uh, because if you just attach the hard drive to the Amiga and then partition the drive and then add all this stuff later then your Amiga is just going to keep crashing you need to partition your drive with this stuff all attached so if you plan on adding any of this stuff later then the chances are you're going to need to uh, partition your drive or format your drive again so that's um, that's just a, a few things I wanted to go through before I uh, show you how to partition the drive. Alright, well the first thing you're going to do is take the install disk for your version of Workbench and pop it in the Amiga and then turn the Amiga on, this is really important. So you take the install disk, pop it in your Amiga and then turn your Amiga on. Alright guys, well the first thing you're going to want to do when you put the install disk in is wait for the installer icon to appear on the workbench and you're going to want to click on that and then you want to click on HD tools alright well the next thing you can uh, want to do is click on HD toolbox and you always click on HD toolbox for whatever workbench version you got and then click on change drive type and then define new and then read configuration and you press continue and then if it says it's not a disk uh, based um, hard drive you just click on OK now in file name you type in RAM junk that's RAM colon junk and then in manufacturer's name I got SanDisk uh, Compact Flash so that's what I'm going to type there you don't need to type in anything else for any of the other um, things on there now make sure that for file name you type in RAM colon junk and not junks like I did and then you click on OK and then OK again notice it says SanDisk which is the new drive and then you hit continue now next you're going to partition the drive so you want to click on partition drive and there at the top you can see our new drive now here you just go straight to delete partition and you click on the left side and you take the slider all the way down now this is going to be this first um, partition is going to be a workbench one so it's going to be at the bottom here in partition device name you type in DHO because it's workbench and because it's workbench and you want it to boot into workbench you type you have to click on bootable next you just click on once you've done that new partition and you click on the right side and then you drag the slider all the way down again now this one is going to be our work folder. This is going to be the folder that I put or other people are going to put all their uh, programs into. It's basically, think of it like um, your My Documents of uh, Windows, basically. Now, this one is going to be DH1. It's not a, going to be bootable because it's just uh, the work folder. And now we click on New Partition. and then we click on the right side again as you can see 
it's like uh, 1.5 gig and this is going to be our games folder now 1.5 gig is a lot uh, for games but I'm going to put a lot of games in there so I want the biggest amount of memory for that and here we type in DHT and then after doing that we click OK and then what you're going to want to do after that is save changes to drive so you click on that and it tells you it's going to change the uh, partitions and then you click continue and then you click exit and here it's telling you if you exit then uh, you're going to need to reboot so click on continue so when your workbench boots up you should get a picture looking like this you've got RAM at the top the install icon and then you've got these blank partitions so what we want to do is click on DHO which is the work which is workbench uh, bootable partition and we click on icons which I will do in a sec there we go and then we want to format this partition so we get click on format and it is like I said the workbench bootable partition or uh, folder so in the new volume name we type in workbench don't forget to use the capital for um, the workbench or uppercase and here you've got a trash can icon which I never bother using it's basically like the trash can in Windows so I just get rid of that because there's no point and we leave all the others as they are and click on format now this should take a little while and click on format and it's going to say are you sure and then yes now it's going to take a little while so alright well the next thing we're going to do is again we're going to click on DH1 go to icons and then format now this is the work folder where we're going to put a lot of our programs so for the file name we put work and like I said this is going to be basically the same thing as uh, my documents folder in Windows and again we don't want the trash can in there because it's a waste of time and then we click on format again it asks you if you really want to format and then yes and again this is going to take a while so we we'll skip to the next part alright in this next one we click on DH2 which is the games partition click on icons and then format again now in the uh, volume name we're going to type in games because it's a games partition as you can see it's 1.5 gig so you should get a lot of games on there again we don't want the trash can in there so unclick that and now we're going to click on quick format the reason for this is if you don't quick quick format you're going to spend the next year waiting for it to uh, finish formatting alright well when you've finished uh, formatting the drives you click on the install icon for your workbench version and then click on install and we're going to go now and install uh, workbench you don't need to reboot or anything now I speak English so obviously I want the English version and then click proceed and then install release 3.1 which if you've got a different version it will tell you which version to install which languages should be installed English we don't want a printer driver installed so proceed 
Uh, which key maps should be installed? Well, I'm British, so I want the British one. And then click proceed. And then basically, you just follow the instructions here. It's going to tell you which disks to put in. So I hope that's helped, and thanks for watching, guys.